Yeah, good morning. <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, last Thursday we discussed uh, the the examination. And the, the mid semester exam and uh, how you guys performed and also I tried to uh, present I, I hope it's yours is that yours Um, there's, I couldn't dwell much on the exam, but I think we go on to look another, at another social security issue. So far we have looked at uh, pension, minimum wage, uh, we have looked at workers composition. What else have we looked at apart from those three? Hmm? Uh, pension, minimum wage, workers composition. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think we spent more time on workers composition and pension as well. But uh, I thought we can do a quick one for today. Uh, the quick one that I thought we can dwell on is um, uh, my daily to leave. Of course, in other setups, they also talk of paternity leave. The only difference is that uh, in most, okay, the law in Malawi currently, that only regulates maternity leave, but doesn't uh, regulate paternity leave. But there are institutions or uh, some organizations that uh, look at paternity leave as something that is worth considering and they do consider. Uh, maybe I always try to look at the background, not the background in the totality of uh, the uh, the item, but rather the Malawian scenario. <coughs> in, in Malawi, before the Employment Act, Employment Act is not uh, <coughs> an act that has come into effect uh, for a long time. It's a new, a new thing altogether. So, uh, if we look back to the times before the employment, the current Employment Act was enacted. Uh, in, uh, employers were at liberty to give maternity leave or not. 
most of them were giving maternity leave, but uh, the considerations were several. One of the major considerations in those years was, um, I hope this is yours. No, it, it, it isn't. We were not 00223. Oh, then I've taken the wrong one. Um, the, the, they had <coughs> conditionalities to a maternity leave. So if we, yes, it was available to female employees, but they would say only married female employees. So if you are not married and you got pregnant, you were not entitled to a maternity leave. That is before the current employment act. And uh, in some institutions, in fact, if you were not married and you got pregnant, they would fire you from the employment. Uh, I don't know what was the thinking in those years, but uh, it really happened quite a lot, even in banks. Yeah, I knew one institution, for example, an NGO which used to call itself a Christian NGO. It used to terminate employment for being pregnant and not being married. So the, if you are pregnant, you needed to show your uh, marriage certificate that I'm married and this is such such. <coughs> but even banks, I knew one bank which also used to terminate employment because of uh, pregnancy. But uh, that was the worst kind of uh, situation. But there were other situations whereby uh, you were not terminated, but you were not granted maternity leave for being <coughs> pregnant and, and not being married. So you would continue to work and maybe just take leave as maybe sick leave uh, whenever your situation is worse off or uh, apply your annual leave. Yeah, uh, the, the current law uh, had to look at various considerations. I think in government then, I don't know whether in government they allowed people who, who were unmarried uh, to go and live uh, on uh, on maternity leave. I'm not very I'm not very familiar with their uh, <coughs> setups, but. Um, I think there was a likelihood which they wanted to tame. Uh, there were also people that were a little bit careless with their lives. I'll say, I'll say that, I'll use that term, careless with their lives. There were people who were working in government who were having children almost every year. I knew of one lady. <laughs> she was a, a teacher somewhere, uh, whose husband was a, a district commissioner somewhere. And uh, they had this audacity of every year having children. By the time I was leaving the place where they were, they already had seven children. And that's being, I thought that was being careless a little bit. That's in the 80s, 90s. Eh? Uh, so, uh, whether you like children or whatever beliefs you had, uh, well, our parents used to have as many as nine, ten children, but in the modern age, having six, seven children 
is a little bit careless and having them almost on a yearly basis was a little bit even more careless. So some of the children look like they are twins, but they were born in uh, different years. But I know our Indian friends also have that habit of uh, uh, having children as, as much as possible. Some of them, not everyone. Yeah, but uh, so the, mean, the maternity leave regulated only, not only the prevalence of uh, institutions which were not granting maternity leave. Of course, they didn't talk. Uh, you have signed for last Thursday, not for this class. Yeah, but you can say Thursday, you didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't give you the form. Uh, the The idea of uh, of uh, not allowing uh, people go on maternity, although they were uh, pregnant, was uncalled for, was unnecessary. But uh, what the Employment Act doesn't regulate directly on the pregnancy is to say you can terminate someone for being pregnant and uh, maybe the reasons that they were having that you don't have uh, a husband or at least you don't have a marriage certificate four, five, to justify you becoming pregnant. The first one, as I said, is life expectancy. Okay, Number it's an okay thought. But it, I don't know what uh, you think ratio. about it. So population ratio but looking was at the uh, ratio between males or females. Or is, or is it and topic number three is out of the development. I know topic you are uh, is gender you know as uh, development dispensation. It's last one very difficult to imagine that contribution to the gender ever or the development theories. Was so it we're good looking at that life expectancy. If you are so employed, we know that when you are looking at the element of life expectancy, we are just determining have the number of years that on average people pregnant. in a specific country are expected to live. Um, Which, so for example, what, what would, previously before the there was a revolution of, of uh, medicine, ruling, uh, good nutrition, position, better living standards and sanitation, the life expectancy in a lot of underdeveloped countries was low, somewhere around maybe 35, 32 to 35 years. But with uh, coming in with uh, of advanced medicine, uh, non-profit institutions that offer health care and better living standards, it has increased the life expectancy. Have you come? Oh, you um, <laughs> still walking. That was in prison. Um, <laughs> Have you arrived? <laughs> so the life expectancy I want, I want you the to... average number of years that people are expected to live in a given country. So they expected to live there is uh, a key term in life expectancy. However, life expectancy and longevity uh, rate, we can call them yes. relatively the same, but then the difference lies in the measurement issues. Life expectancy is properly calculated, while longevity right. just looks at, for example, a population pyramid of a specific country where they are able to identify that there are people who are living above, let's say, the age of 65. So that determines longevity of a uh, a particular or a given country. So life expectancy, on the other hand, is calculated in a very precise manner where social scientists use the life tables again of the population pyramid um, to make a reference between the births that are available or are present in a given country against the given deaths. 
and through that um, just as, uh, uh, assimilation, the they are able power. to determine the life expectancy. Does it come through the air? So, <laughs> as a particular technique, um, <laughs> longevity <laughs> is not associated with any particular yeah. statistical uh -huh. technique, as I said. So, both life expectancy and longevity are distinct from lifespan. So, when you are looking at longevity, which just determines uh, mm -hmm. at a given time how many yeah. years a person is Moses. living above the age of 65 where uh, life expectancy is looking at the number of years a per people on average are expected to live lifespan looks at um, uh, specifically the number of years that a person is most likely to live given all good conditions so it, in life expectancy is giving you data that is available there Lifespan, it's giving you an assumption of say, if all other things were not, uh, if all other conditions that facilitate human life were present, what is the expected lifespan of a specific uh, country? We so, for example, if we had better living standards in Malawi, we had very good health care, the country wasn't poor, and all those things, um, the expected lifespan for the country maybe would reach up to, let's say, 90 years old. Because all favorable Where conditions are present to increase the life stand. expectancy. So uh, the key uh, aspect of lifespan is that huh? all favorable conditions are available to increase the life expectancy of a given population. <laughs> so measuring of life expectancy. I, I thought it's Christian. So life expectancy, says, as I said, is a summary uh, measure no of sex mortality before marriage. In so it's just measuring so I am mortality and death rate. The, so mathematically, uh, it's giving you a representation of sex. the death rate minus so the no death rate, giving marriage, you a representation of how many people DNA are. Um, what is the average years that a a, a population in a given country is expected to live? minus mm -hmm. that death rate. So life expectancy measures life expectancy at birth. So there are two life expectancy measures. Life expectancy at, at birth, so Not that only is the a calculation that with that kind of ruling. For example, if a person is born, um, biasness what how many years on average ruling. is a person who if is it applied is going to spend that if in that uh, man country. is found and that the second measure of life expectancy someone. is life expectancy after the age Who of 65. Not his so marriage pattern. The first life expectancy is measured to 65 to years old. Muntu, the when they reach 65 years old, it means they have to measure the kind of a different life expectancy again. Because the assumption is to say that at 65, kind of how many more years can a person live at 65? So depending that's on the conditions that are available in that country, I'm saying, um, it's okay. the uh, life expectancy above the age of 65 has to may to both. go up, up to 70, 80, if depending have a man on different factors who in that uh, given country. So the, the life tables give accurate no have data of death of running away by age from as well as sex kind of of population. You know, and this data in many countries, is however, just like is challenging to acquire, but especially in underdeveloped that, countries. At least, like, if there was for example, Malawi, the, where the, 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 um, so the for the country that is underdeveloped, whether it will be proven, for them to pump in resources, all we, men would manage you know about, to find a way of I mean, um, uh, escaping from asking about data, being fired by saying. Data. So, if, for example, uh, the government is providing um, allowances for making, those people, sometimes the government may not be able uh, to provide just um, allowances up. for people to go I around to involved. collect such data. And therefore, happened, because on, know, in the in international years, community, they understand the issue of DNA testing, um, they are be, able to just. Will not be we can there. say make an average just according to the, child the data that is say, presented no, like in the previous day, year. And sometimes like international agencies, <laughs> when they really specifically want to know about uh, uh, life expectancy or like those measures in nose. other countries, yeah. they'll do what is known as a sample survey, yeah. right? Cetera, so, so they'll just yeah. collect a sample we are of the talking about population and determine live some of these factors where they'll we'll be able to measure the life expectancy in the long run. Just as a method of just um, currently, um, I mean, there is a law coming up with an average according to the entire no, population. What am I doing? So I, there are theoretical the frameworks or gender okay. differences. The law which says after that determines life expectancy. So the theoretical framework in gender differences is that 
um, Vin- the assumption years has shown to oh, at least the assumption previously and then was backed by science is that women tend to live longer than men. Um, and there are various the factors of, that will determine uh, why you may be a medical pr- medical pr- practitioner. So, um, the first out of is the biological so difference. So, there's a clear sex differentiation in health status. So, men have higher rates of death, which is mortality, and more serious as well as chronic as illnesses employer, than men. Uh, sorry, than women. So, so when you're looking are, at men having higher deaths, what do you, why do you think, like, for example, issues. in Malawi, yeah, men would have you uh, there are higher deaths of men than women? Look at like uh, high deaths. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Men. Men, between men and women. Mm-hmm. Why do you think men would, As I've said be, already, would have a higher death rate than women? In the current employment act, mm-hmm. it's only the female employee who is mm-hmm. entitled to a maternity leave. Mm. But I've said mm. uh, the employer mm. may have a policy which also cutters for yeah, other maternity issues, leave. Maybe, right? <coughs> so, for example, like as, as yeah. you're giving that men would have, I'm, I'm have thinking rates because generally in most settings, if, uh, men are the ones that take care of the household. So, as wife. you're putting it, uh, stress can lead to other health problems and so on. And the other factor that promotes these it's issues, to because normally baby. when a man is sick, they just ah, you know, Most yeah. Likely, so because of that, you find that if, if for example, a person has an illness, they probably would have gotten better. But because they spend a lot of time having, thinking about whether or not they should go to the hospital, um, they end up just dying. Uh, so you are looking at the seriousness uh, of illnesses. And the other phase, factor is that generally men the, work in the, uh, in situations, struggles, in uh, areas in the industry that are more dangerous than women. Eh? So you find, for example, the industry who production line, attending to um, the maybe men. mechanical handling of a machine manager, it's usually the men who are doing it uh, women. It so you hear a lot of industrial tests, they are usually men because they are the ones that are those machines. During day, so, it however, during a, a certain study so disagreed the whole night the fact that men trying to nurse the, uh, and it showed that women wife, generally suffer uh, from a greater level of next sickness month, than men. Of course, um, so you when you're looking at this contested uh, level of um, take her to the nearest hospital, studies, they are based are off of two different data sets. You are men are seen as having a higher rate of death because maybe it has been shown statistically. For example, suicide in Malawi, it, I it told you there are more men who are going to suicide than women. Uh, so because that data is showing that, so we are able to be, uh, uh, determine that there are higher rates uh, of death. And, and when you're looking at chronic illnesses, through uh, the health management uh, system, they are able to see that um, itself, many of the chronic and, and serious health the man illnesses doesn't have the men as opposed to the women. <coughs> so this, um, the opposing uh, information determ- saying that women suffer still from greater level of sickness is coming from the ratio of does, does, uh, hospital attendance, right? So when you're looking at data paternity, that shows at hospital attendance, it shows that women are the one that go to so it would uh, maybe why, suggest that women how have would a greater level of illness. The, but in reality, it's because that time, women have got uh, better access to health care because of the focus. Uh, so when you're looking at the health center, his, for example, mother, uh, family planning, most of the time those services are uh, accessed by women, right? A, so a, a it's going to uh, increase to the amount of women that go sister, because elder, generally men don't uh, 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 access or whatever, family planning. And when you're looking at other health services as well, uh, mainly the main main the goal is to the hospital and that contributes to the higher level of the men having chronic yeah. illnesses. So the degree of presence paternity and updates leave. of health services alone, but I know that however, cannot account for the GDP Where a paternity leave is so supposed to be there. So while timely and appropriate services uh, the consideration the is of illness and injury, they cannot reduce the incidence but let's assume of this in the, the first place. So this statement suggests that uh, when a person is sick, uh, that sickness, after whether or not they have access one, to health care, uh, um, it, do you grant w- whether or not they have access to health care, it, it, it's not going to uh, reduce or you have the incidence of that one is coming in. But rather, the access to health care uh, ensures that the person yes, gets appropriate and well as timely uh, services in order for them to conquer that illness. So the differences in incidences of illness between yeah. genders 
for the first thing is that it's an entitlement to female the first is the biological employees. explanation so the next uh, thing data that suggests that um, it's hard to come men and women in terms of chromosomes every men have years. got the y chromosome and women have got the uh, xx the employer so the extra chromosome uh, of women um, okay. gives them an the added advantage the in terms of uterine issues as well as every uh, early every uh, infant illnesses. So but occasionally it, reference may be made to the hormonal differences between men and women as contributors. So it suggests that because women have years. got a greater level or so a greater regulates. combination of hormones in their system, uh, um, it shows the that they will live longer than women however those years in terms of differences between men and women are not very significant maybe it will just of be five years so that five years might may or may not con wish. be contributed by the biological explanation the second category see. of uh, explanation uh, between phone, um life expectancy between men and women is the behavior as well as cultural explanation so on behavior <coughs> part, it's obvious. It's not that the way that men behave, they are more risky, the right? Because of maybe cultural years, expectation. But that means For example, that or in the previous lesson, when, you, when I was looking at um, obedience and the uh, conformity, of course, we I specifically I that days. because of cultural expectations, we say they get um, married at the age maybe a man is expected to be uh, they're supposed to be more risky, or they would engage or themselves in activities that would get them uh, maybe try to have children. Um, to be on the bad side with the law, for example, years. stealing and vandalizing and all that, because that is expected in the specific uh, culture. Uh, so because of this emphasis on behavior and culture, break men's health um, are given an explanation because of cultural analysis. Uh, so stressing children, the factors of masculinity, having the what children, is expected as masculinity in a particular uh, community is what two, determines three, men to have one, more risk-taking behavior. Because and then that signifies what masculinity is after. and this gives what is known as the poor health coverage so when you're looking at the poor health coverage for example people say the, the goal. Right? you're obviously sick By the way, right why can't you just go because it is expected in society that a, maybe a man doesn't go to the hospital uh, doesn't show weakness the way of procreation right? is, just you know how, how are you going to get Because we don't the cultural expectation is um, so it shows that, that men children. have to be more it, strengthy or how, they have how, to show level of strength than women. So if you're just showing weakness, I know in animals, it, means it, it would not um, but be a positive beings, attribute to a, man, just want to a man's life. So that would include behavior such as multiple sexual partners, attitudes, about taking and so on. And the last category is material and structural explanation. <laughs> so is when you're looking it, at the uh, material and structural explanation, these are a social human factors. Multiplication. So these social factors include employment, <laughs> income, educational <laughs> opportunities, <laughs> provision of health services, it's and not so on. Referring to so this perspective is commonly having, used having, as a discussion for women's health. <laughs> and it suggests that structural now, factors are the main causes of women's health problems. So a very good structural yes. um, factor would be uh, access yeah. to health care yeah. so for those who have countries that are as many as possible so have in women. countries such as that uh, women do not have a, cannot have access to health care without sure that uh, the men have uh, being a counterpart uh, in the access the uh, so that reduces like the, the amount of health care for women particularly in uh, and such and countries like and it leads to the conclusion the that of the attempt air. to improve women's health must so? focus on changes in the social system yeah, okay. such as uh, the government Policies. Within so, uh, 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 the government policies, for example, the other scenario whereby so you know that a it's not person just who is educated, you are, has you are, got, you are thinking uh, beyond better the understanding to, um, the their expectation, for example, as a patient, in following guidelines of education, following the instructions of the uh, medical practitioner, me and so on, as opposed to an, an educated have person, as um, many children as I want to. And then have you ever had an experience at the hospital? Start focusing on at a public hospital. My career. So the you've career never, comes never, after you have. You've never gone to a public hospital. Children. You go to private Although hospital. It's a force. A um, force assumption. Okay. So my example would be that, uh, that, for example, particularly you discover in that when you are thirty-five, you are one bit. 
they are very sick. You feel like so uh, a person time, who is had a generally from the coming from a poor age, background and they don't have any uh, education, say, the way that they can explain their symptoms, seven example, years they go to down the, the line, line. Okay, so you would discover that the children have all grown up there in high school. Some one what, is in high what, school. What, so what can a doctor can make out of a statement you like feel that? Like <laughs> you feel like you need to have another child. I'm just assuming. I'm so, not, I'm not that type <laughs> of a woman. I mean, you are going to win. I wouldn't have a good idea. I wouldn't have a good idea. What exactly are they? So, a person who has got a higher level, or yeah. not just a higher level, at least in school, my, and in my own Sunday setup, first Sunday day, they are able to express it to a child. woman to be dead. Eh? Or oh, I'm having a headache. I feel Oh, a person who's got a higher level of I education, hospital, maybe a private hospital, and they express. <laughs> okay. Um, the can we go along with you? Maybe for nine, two months. Four years, I got eight. treatment, and so they are able to explain um, those then, things. Maybe they've had that illness for a long time. So, but many a person who has enough. not had enough uh, educational exposure, but, um, they can have multiple illnesses, later. but they'll just express one because they have a hard time expressing yeah, things in logic. Right. In a logical manner, and that affects um, the and level of outcomes in terms of health problems. Five, as well. years, five years later. So, according to uh, the data one, uh, that represents biological uh, explanation, behavior, as well as social, um, it has been seen that generally the information so, that shows us that men have got um, so the first one poor health than women. That information is accurate for is countries in low social status, not in countries that the are last rich. Child. Because, as we put it, yeah. uh, in countries, for example, Malawi, a lot of women yeah? are going four, to have four. Uh, poor health and probably going to have, uh, have higher testing. Uh, it's because they are stressed out about Kodi Anandi, Pakum, how am I going to feed my yeah. children and all, all that. Because when you're looking at the, the <laughs> job factor in Malawi, uh, uh, maybe the, the rules of the paternity or maternity leave, maybe 8,000. Uh, so when you're looking at money like 8,000, you don't know. For the household, it would be something that's difficult. But in countries that are more well the hour rate years, of payment, oh, even for a person who is not at paid, least maybe eight will be weeks higher, right? Patent and the leave. person will be able to listen <coughs> most the three hours, most and the three hours and they're able to say their policy they're going to just write about the more income than uh, in low two months statuses. So the assumption and the data that is present uh, suggests that uh, men who suffer from because when uh, some one who write are those from low social status. And the other question they have the highest is, uh, burden of are we talking about problems. only which and it shows that fifty five percent are weekends. more likely to die from lung cancer. So uh, hundred and two percent find the matter normally from, just write uh, about vascular diseases. But be very, this information shows so that there is a skill is a high skewedness of but data suggesting that men have got highly, years. specifically in low socioeconomic statuses, have got a higher chance of dying from multiple to regulate as opposed to men in the higher socioeconomic statuses. So when you are looking at all these um, factors between. that determine or biology, uh, fact explanations that determine uh, life expectancy and uh, factors such as socioeconomic status, it brings out uh, compounding factors in poor countries. So when you are looking at those compounding factors, we looked at biologically, we are saying that it contributes less to uh, life expectancy, but particularly uh, the cultural or behavior as well as material uh, explanation. And because of these two things, poverty comes, becomes an added uh, disadvantage. So the degree of which people sense um, um, the degree in which people belong to a society determines uh, mm -hmm. their level of social as well as economic disadvantage. So uh, one specific <laughs> mechanism has looked at the differentiation between men and women in low socioeconomic statuses. So while women have got <laughs> no, no uh, have no less need than men for financial benefits of employment, it suggests that. Uh, men require a lot more uh, benefits for employment because that's if you want a maternity leave, um, you can have another one. So but you a not man will not be defined as a man in between, and but to provide for his family. If you want so a maternity leave, have enough benefits on full pay. So if he is unable yeah. to get these yeah. benefits from the employment, it affects self-esteem. It affects um, uh, his security. 
in terms of uh, the family setting as opposed to women where they have which social i don't um, think they sometimes. have social expectations sometimes, and rather yeah, you know the laws support in the household uh, so it doesn't matter for example if a woman is a working, paternal but society for the, having time. children they would and have the, support traditionally uh, from the community laws or um, policies they are, are so the, the value in the society men. is through parenting and childbearing so, but as opposed what to men and particularly this is the reason why there are higher suicide rates of men as opposed to men why do you think they are higher suicide rates outside of job security and so on? Why do you think they are higher suicide rates you are going towards as opposed to women? Uh, like recently, there was something child that was in social media. Child be born in a week or three, and three two weeks time daddy. because of uh, uh, various yeah. challenges. You take your maternity leave <coughs> two weeks in advance. Mm -hmm. Uh, Men are not like women. You have a child. So big, like it's women, we, so we're saying, but socially, but women are able to support born. themselves. Yes. They are supposed to support yes. each other. That are in the have you taken your maternity leave? They'll talk about it, they have friends and so on. But men, a person can, they'll just maybe go out drinking with their friends. Eh? Yes, you feel the phone. Eh? Ah. Or even sometimes they were able, they would, they would have those friends, they would be your drinking stats. and they would express their problems. Ah, but men have a hard time supporting each other. Ah, do a mamu no sooner. What sort of support is that? Eh? So uh, there are the two ways. It's men generally don't open up as much take as care of the first thing. And the second thing is men generally don't support weeks. each other the way that women uh, support each other. Actually, guys, men are more likely to support child, women than they are to support their fellow men. Or a few yeah, days so when you're looking at this, it causes issues of self-esteem. So For example, I used to hear things such as, ah, you were sitting over and I'm not going to do it. So when you're hearing something like that, it's not right. For example, So when you are looking at things like that, yes. So the men generally will not support uh no, good uh, well, positive uh, outcomes okay. for each other. I have few men when support each other. Have yeah. I mean, the child has died. Since I'm, you know, we yeah. drama gali. You still have many. So five all of these things will contribute as compounding factors. Of compounding factors of course, you can for, for poor go through that gives them a that kind of situation and immediately go to work. Obviously, in that part, it would be it would. But be this through, time, um, even if, if it's not suicide, then it would be. Are you nursing a, a baby or a shorter life expectancy for me? Another right? healthy kind of is it? Have so you trends it in life secret? expectancy show because that you still um, have secret. on average the world is that has secret put, um, still maternity leave. The life expectancy for females is sixty nine on average, sixty nine years old, right? <laughs> uh, the chances of females living up to sixty nine years old, and for men, but everyone it's knows that five years. Um, however, we are looking at the projection between developed and underdeveloped Why? countries. So it shows that in developed countries, males live the life expectancy is 72 and in females is 79. While in less developed countries, the life expectancy for males is 63 and for females is 66. Uh, so when you're looking at this data, mainly it's not really showing that there is a very big gap in what the life expectancy. But that one is very apparent in You are dealing with human beings. Because when you're looking at poverty, you are not dealing right? with poverty animals. is primarily one of the factors you are not that are going to cause the life expectancy to be less. Like access so to health care, say, they don't have the a really good job, they are not able to have any good nutrition. So if now, you have an illness, let's take this when you're looking at all this, and another factor would be well, HIV and AIDS, uh, which contributes to a lot of deaths in underdeveloped countries. So the differences situation. between life because expectancy if we assume is that present this is between developed and underdeveloped countries. So in developed countries, it, means it shows that life expectancy has been smaller. Be, be um, approximately eight after more years have been added. Three years. The major factor accounting for this increase but what in life expectancy these, this um, is improvement in nutrition, 
so uh, hygiene uh, after, hygiene practices knowledge about uh, public health and advancement depending on measures whether in you want to illnesses so these advances were say, particularly important uh, and they have um, contributed to reducing the infant mortality uh, so the risk of death is again. high among infants <laughs> um, <laughs> and also highest uh, among women who are year. giving birth and um, then you become so when you're looking uh, at these areas of death as well as major causes of death uh -oh. such as infectious diseases as opposed to okay. developing oh nations so okay. we are seeing that the trends in life expectancy show that in developed countries a lot has changed between let's yeah. say around the um, 1950s to right now in 2024 so the life expectancy in developed first, countries are significantly increased and uh, those children, um, by the way, a lot of developed countries and I am asking I'm about that in my mix I don't know chemicals right the situation I don't know if it's arise. chemicals it's nutrition they would give when IV infusion so a drip yes. right so it will facilitate they are calling it cellular, cellular regeneration so that moon who just am it more youthful, they should have energy. And the other way, that. so it has increased I, the life expectancy in a lot of underdeveloped countries because of uh, advancement in I'm technology for and many other factors. But that is I not the same, the case is not the same for developing countries. Uh, there is very little improvement in terms of life expectancy. One year, um, and the very important factor in terms of um, life expectancy in developing countries and underdeveloped countries in the HIV and AIDS. There's a lot of support of HIV and AIDS. Uh, uh, the medical the support job um, that, that affects the spread of HIV and AIDS have been affected by cultural factors and so on. For example, so start there are some cultures where and have the, new maternity leave, uh, if I they advocate <laughs> for a person to, for example, a man, eh? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How that a way of, eh? uh, so for example, a cultural, a cultural value such as that, it's affecting the, the efforts to sustain, um, to mitigate the effects of HIV and AIDS in a lot of countries. I'm in assuming a lot of that. So, for uh, example, right now, no the, uh, the WHO has well challenges as together that with come with, uh, Ministry of Health because uh, they have brought in are taking, more information, you are promote child use of condoms, safer sex, I mean, uh, reducing sexual partners, and so on. Because they are seeing the information is very in terms of uh, reducing HIV and AIDS. People and to Amakanga Taka, Iwala. So, the only reason I remember the time that of COVID not was having a child um, was the intense because in you want 2020, right? To be in people had to forgotten about leave. HIV. So, this <coughs> affects, uh, so when you're by looking this time, at these, I think uh, you have known that illnesses, it affects life expectancy, not only of the parents, scenarios, but also the children in the long run, uh, where maternity leave can. <laughs> Be okay, why is it difficult? Set aside by someone who wants to have children. Mm -hmm. The first one was what? What did I say? Mm -hmm. uh, was the first mm -hmm. scenario where you mm -hmm. can set aside. Yeah, so this is the reason why I wanted to be here today. So we can discuss many of these issues because many of you, actually all of you didn't really do well in the exam. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I wanted to see, Woody, what are your challenges in terms of understanding my the, concept, myself the, okay. the, the, um, the course? So as you are saying, Woody, woman, in a way, saying, what's the, what, this, what challenges are you experiencing? Uh, policy or mm. legal requirement mm -hmm. that a mm -hmm. female employee is entitled. So for this course only for other courses as every well? Every three years. To at least have eight weeks maternity leave okay. on full pay. Uh, has allowed, uh, has made a woman we to be regulated in terms of uh, having a number of children uh, check on the group. without uh, with uh, check it on within a set, certain period of time mm -hmm. you are being regulated but I am saying you can uh, mm -hmm. remove that you can uh, find a way I send every note on the group. Not right? following. Uh, so maybe this. the problem has been. How can you make it? Okay, so it would have been better if all of you were here. You should so necessarily discuss the issues. Be bound. Let's say group discussions. 
when the areas that you have say, problems, if you look at the notes, say, it's going to show you, what can you maybe what, what are the areas that you have challenges in. So I had planned for the day that way we we'll look at these key I'll eight I'll elements. Just the the second why one. are you having challenges? It be a third you one. See? Because if you are saying that you are having challenges in the whole course, uh, all of because your that's courses, what right? Asking, exactly. So it means that um, not, not, you should have been able to identify when you need to manage what I need to understand. Understanding yeah. of the concepts. The first one is uh, let me so go in terms back of the, uh, the English that is used. You can decide what to leave employment completely mm -hmm. and have children the way you want. Mm -hmm. Whether to have a child every year mm -hmm. or a child every one and a half years. So that's a where child not every. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes it can be and not then put it, go back not specifically when I'm looking employment. at English, it's not really that. That's um, yeah. the second is the English. What I mean is the type of um, phrase that, for example, lecturers would use it and the phrase. You can change sometimes the person would other phrase time things you that are too deep for a person to understand, right? Have a and that would affect pregnancy. your level of understanding. <laughs> so, um, so you leave employment. So, if you're having challenges, when you go to the other employer, uh, it will be uh, understanding those key concepts. It means. New you generally need to be present in class a lot, a lot more times because <coughs> most of the times being a woman for maternity okay? leave so that would affect because uh, in class i'll give further and better explanations than and the, the most if you're in class you'd be which able to most people take is that uh, so you if you don't make it in class it will be hard for you on full pay to understand many the first time by yourself if you the just second time mm -hmm. so those you are the key elements that leave. you need to focus on Okay, so in proceeding, the determinants of differential so in health uh, I can think of these three. So we have I'm looked at the determinants. We, we, uh, we looked at the trends in life expectancy. Um, Change in And we also looked at um, the factors or explanations that determine life expectancy, which is biological, Take behavioral, as well as work. material or structural explanations. So now we look at the impact of HIV on life expectancy at birth in Africa. I think so any man is in not a lot of African countries. The major to, issue with life expectancy to is HIV that and AIDS. And it suggests that Sub Saharan Africa has been hit hard by not HIV and AIDS. Don't and approximate, approximately 70% of the world's saying. population has got HIV and AIDS and contributes to the lowest level but of apart life expectancy. From so AIDS cannot solely account for low life expectancy in Africa, what but also social like, yeah. as well as political issues, including you poverty and high risk of death. So when you're looking at, we are saying that HIV and AIDS is the primary reason if why it's they certified by a registered but then, medical practitioner. Um, the HIV and AIDS has also been affected because by of the. For example, uh, socially pregnant at, um, because early marriages, of the child right? birth. that would cause more and more you HIV prevalences, political upheavals. So are. when you're looking at political, so apart from the affecting uh, uh, life expectancy, because there are some countries that I know are some employers by give people. as much as. And furthermore, when you're looking at <coughs> COVID, so a person, let's say, has days. tested HIV positive and they have started treatment. Others, they don't months. have, let's say, enough income, and they can't afford good other nutrition. employers Mangala like uh, uh, NGOs, uh, uh, what they do is, yeah. so because they of this uh, lack of um, good nutrition, it's going to affect life expectancy and, and increasing their risk of death is, that, as well. That are and speeding. with this impact, it has showed the, that the effect of okay, HIV on is keeping days, life expectancy back, lower than the age of fifty, when even you come up back, until. 2050. You can um, whereas if, if the pandemic the wasn't there, the chances of uh, life expectancy in Africa would have reached 65 to, to 70 years old. Right now you hear a lot of death. You are looking but at all these deaths and the reality the that is happening right now is that women, um, yeah, I know the people that are dying are the younger ones, right? Uh, As opposed to what the people they do who is are older. Not they, they have feel moved like out of the years, which they were maybe extremely sexually active and all that. So the younger business. people are dying so more, um, maybe not even reaching the age. Of we are not going back to home and to take care of uh, child, life expectancy to in Africa also takes into shock. account gender equality and uh, malaria as well as other illnesses. 
So today, run, 40 million people live with HIV uh, and AIDS, the, and over 95 percent of them are have. in developing so countries. The issue, and um, because of this, whether, AIDS has often uh, a lot of a children giving not, in problems is, with poverty, uh, having yeah, after, but he, um, the employers may exposure to other that. illnesses, but including malaria, the other and that, also uh, has um, come below it is that having being affected with poverty. The woman so already more vulnerable people um, are affected and because have of poverty and specifically girls in terms of vulnerability uh, to dropping out of schools uh, and being retained in the whole of situation. Of the so when you're looking at this gender equality, uh, so in, uh, the, the gender equality problem for, with for, uh, often Children being orphaned. So, that, for example, one of those things, died. but the medical Asiana, that uh, officer can Jama in Ura, that in the no, in the red, uh, she she needs of them. So, Mazua, one uh, she needs generally the care will be different. And when uh, the red is that are also taking care of you are equal, whether equally poor as the that will be you were coming in, they would look at you maybe as a lady. Now, if you don't have to let it be employed. <coughs> uh, what I mean is that the employer may say, so that okay, we'll increases give you the dropout rate of girls, so and also they have to take care so because of that they have to take care of on um, household issues, and that increases the uh, prevalence of know, HIV and AIDS, child marriages, kind of and um, option exposure to other illnesses. And furthermore, it means that not. as we have been talking about the lesson, we saw that. School, they are exposed to having any marriage. Or if maybe they don't get married, what are the chances of them being exposed to say, economically enough food and uh, having a business? For example, let's say having a business Masamba or one of family in Wina, how much money, for example, is a person, particularly in a village, eh, going to make out of a business such as that? As opposed to say, if they got exposed to maybe training, Wina, Zipanga, Wina, Madonna, Sins, and Hungazmez, so that can earn them maybe more money and so on. So this further increases gender, in, uh, gender inequality, as well as exposing women to have, uh, to be more yeah. poor and also vulnerable in to be this given. setting. So it would bring them aspects of gender-based violence, being exploited, and so on. And many Alice. women, because of not having a good but, uh, um, economic uh, background, women's... they go into sex Maybe work half and pain. so on. So this affects uh, um, illnesses such as HIV the... as well. Female employee. Or oh, it will be tough. I mean, people already Before struggle I proceed, do you have receiving to... full pay. Okay. So we the link between gender equality pay, and reducing child mortality. So they are, <laughs> it has been seen they are that beggars. in households where women so now you go, equal you have a, a sick child, the chances of reducing child mortality yourself, and are then significantly. They are saying the reason is Zimai normally get on a corner of is it a way of telling them, them that they shouldn't ask? Their way of taking care case. of um, the household is better. Because normally, for example, between men and women, it, if a man has got 20,000 and a woman has 20,000, a man with 20,000 is just thinking about a half pay while what? a woman is going to think about the entire household. So this shows that in, uh, that, in societies where there's a lot of gender equality, there is increased child mortality because women generally don't have hmm? control of the economics in the household. And it's going to affect... Um, quality of care yeah. of the children, yeah. uh, which but also uh, affects a child nutrition. Because well. um, if the woman doesn't have the money, she generally won't uh, have the ability to take care nutrition-wise and also the quality of the care for the children. The so greater control of income now, by women also months. tend to lower, uh, they tend to lower life expectancy, even yes. when the household's total income is they taken may... into account. So Hire generally, increasing the household business. income are associated with a reduced child weeks. mortality, specifically when the mother one. has got hands on income as opposed uh, to the mother. As opposed to the father. So they are and paying, child mortality okay. rates are also linked to gender-related norms and as well as customs. So in countries where parents regard health and survival of sons are more critical, 
um, to their well-being and the survival of daughters, it's going to cause the treatment of nutrition and care to reduce the chances of survival of humans. So when you're looking at um, gender equality as well as reducing child mortality, uh, we are going to look at this as we go along when we see uh, the male-female ratio across the world. So there are some countries where Amabanga prefer having sons, right? So the family is generally not going to care for that child because they would prefer that the male children have to be alive as opposed to the girls. No, and um, it's going to affect child mortality. Most and as scenarios, we go along, we we'll see that that is the reason why even although people are, are a human, human being, but in reality, on a global scale, special. there are more men as opposed to women. You are dealing with yes. situations that arise so um, um we we have looked at the, the factors I mean, that affect you um longevity or life expectancy between men and women you are faced we have with situations of life where expectancy in you need to advise and, and how it on what to do countries but when you are reading the policy it doesn't say anything and, about it uh, hiv and aids as well as so how do you deal with as well as the link situations. between gender equality and reducing they will child say, mortality what do you so want that just looks at how do women we are the generally drivers to promoting increased to um life expectancy in an overall country when they have access to income and how for example hiv and aids uh, in terms of the equality if women advising. have got access to healthcare, they've got access to education and all and all those uh, social uh, resources then the impact of hiv would be reduced would because generally it's because women engage themselves in activities that um uh, we can call them less favorable and cause them to have um what are going to, to contract the hiv virus so now we're going to look at the key drivers of population growth and do we grant her equality. additional four weeks the key drivers of population growth and gender equality On so that will conclude half uh, pay unit no pay. one of module four so the key drivers of population growth is gender equality, <laughs> gender answer. inequality. So we are looking Human at life expectancy. We have seen that female. normally <laughs> men are Can going to live uh, less than women, but in a lot of underdeveloped countries, women are experiencing challenges in terms of life expectancy, particularly because of HIV and AIDS and poverty. And yeah, we are now trying to identify sick, how rich, gender uh, inequality is the cause of the population us that, uh, So, uh, because in a lot of African countries and other developed countries, there is a denial of basic rights in the population, women especially uh, don't have access to education, and therefore it reduces their ability to earn an income and their ability to choose of how, to, how many children they are going to have. So, girls have agency over... Uh, girls who don't have agency <laughs> over reproductive health rights uh, have a life that limits um, their choices in terms of having uh, the number of children. So, <laughs> if it's a, for example, uh, in settings where um, a reason um, out of the girls don't have access to education, then it has so got to do with uh, it's, it's, that's a maternity. You know that, eh? That's in a, a lot of uh, hospitals, they'll give an health talk. Put in, it is they are trying to explain so you know, you know, so it's affecting it your household and all those things and also for example in some settings where and also for example in some settings where chakaji no abiza muna wina hey mamu na wafunika kumbe gira mwana ndoti chibwe zi chiche nchiyo saa kumbe gira mwana so chibwe nzi chiyo yamba ndoti chakaji no ngata kandi chibwe zi zidadu Okay, so a person gets them pregnant, they have a child, they are not married to that person. Next year, they start dating another person. So when you're looking at that, it's because of lack of education exposure, where they are unable to see that values they are affecting you right? in terms of uh, your livelihood. So it shows that the driver to population growth is because of gender inequality. The inequality is coming in because women have been denied basic rights in terms of education, freedom outside the home, and also um, in terms of income and choosing how many children to have. Mm -hmm. And the particularly, when you are I was looking at the cultural perspective, but then now when you are looking at the freedom uh, outside the home and also the right to their bodies, because we are not educated, we are, uh, and also we don't have financial all the issues that we are dealing with. 
so it means that the, the, your role in the household is just having children uh, so you don't really have to say and i, I have had experience in a very your survival um, when you have stopped it was away. said that women so, that on in other words when you are working uh, we are taking care of you we are giving you salary but we are trying to take care of you and Okay. If the pension was only you contributing, that's okay. But now we are still in process. Because of this, we identified that this was your living after you have stopped so working. So we were giving the them this control. So you are, you are no longer that, that time. You will not benefit the organization. Uma was not okay. It's just you trying to move them around. Move them around. Is it? That is just you just thinking about what you are doing. Could he abandon your salary? And um, beyond. They came no, that uh, right. birth control known as the group, <laughs> so it's inserted into Is the uterus, true? right? So uh, that one it's, became it's even like a, a, a very a good, a successful birth control like because like it's for five years. Say, so uh, if a woman would just go to the hospital, if you are in account, is yeah. supposed to be spread over control, the man doesn't know, and that offered a, an allowance for them to have because access know that to family planning without the husband knowing. So years. when you're looking at this right in terms of bodies, a woman who feels like she doesn't really, she really can't make a decision in terms of children, it's constantly uh, going to have been, children. You'd find that maybe a person how like, years. Beyond that. So you'd find that well, 19, <coughs> 19 years old. Uh, he may be useful. And how figures are 25 